Ivy's getting stronger. I need to stop her now. I think she's still in the gardens where you left her, but she'll be in control of it now. You'll be walking into a trap. That's what she thinks. Let's go deal with the sniper. And he didn't. <laughs> I was about to happen to him. This island belongs to me now. Now we head back to the gardens and find Ivy. I'm not sure when I'm gonna end up doing the arm challenge. I know I wanna try and do all 240 of them, but it does take a little bit to do, because we're only do 120 left to do. We can't have done half of up to this point. So I will have to do the rest. I want to end up doing them all. Not entirely. What do you think you can do, Batman? I am everywhere. My babies know you're every move. You and your kind are arrogant enough to think you can destroy us. You will fail. And we, we will become the most powerful force on the planet. A little bit of stars there. You will pay that for hurting my baby. When I finish with Batman, I'll be coming after you, Joker. Will you really? Now that's gratitude, is it? You give him presents, experiments, and they still Good luck, You don't see me. that far. It's rude to keep a girl waiting, Batman. How did I miss picking this one up? Take patient interview 20. Joker is more interesting than I originally believed. When Project Titan is operational, I believe Joker will be the perfect test subject. Good afternoon. Today I thought I'd skip back to our previous conversations about your family. Of course. I was born in a small fishing village. I always wanted to join the circus, but my father wouldn't really let me. I don't believe you. My father was a cop. One week from retirement when the mob... I've seen the movie. What are you scared of? Scared? Yes, scared. There's obviously something. Something that made you what you are. What if... What if I'm too scared to remember? It hurts too much. Then I can help you. Alrighty, after losing all our health, we're good now. I thought we don't have to kill plants. Hey, 10 joker teeth. How many joker teeth are here? Only oh, yeah, the 10, okay. I still don't know what this one is. My challenge has appeared to those with a crit. My challenges appear. I think there must be another question mark one. 
same time same as the others, so I could be wrong. So you're here at last. Do you like what I've done with the place? My babies are growing, Batman. Come and see. I was painting. Oh, I'd like to thank my fans for their undying support and the people of Gotham, who I will be seeing. Oh, yeah. Very, no, I wasn't paying attention. There's also a great big moth flying around my room. So you're here at last. Do you like what I've done with I've the lost place? it now, but. My babies are growing, Batman. Come and see. I, just, I look in the corner of my eye, I see something flying around. I was like, what the hell is that? There's a boy mop, there's a big, quite big mop. Such rich food for my babies. Are you ready for me? Do you think you can handle me? Well, at least she opened up far forward. Come to me. At least she was nice enough to open up this path for us. Come to me. Ivy's waiting. I've got myself a little security, Batman. They'll just die if anything happens to me. Um, okay. It's it just kinda got eaten. What what the hell happened to cause that in the first place? Well, the plants don't exactly move. I well might have, but most of the time they don't. I won't let you destroy it, Batman. I told you to go to your cell. I was a fool. I thought the plants were in pain. Now I realize they were evolving, growing stronger. Tell you annoying pike.
Wait, I'm just gonna wait for a second. Oh, Mr. Mark Lads will tear you and your precious block to shreds. I feel like you just use quick back to get out of that. Trying to aim with the paint. That's going to be problematic. I can't really use the, um... I can do takedowns, because... Of that. He's trying to hurt me. I think he's still alive. <laughs> I don't think he died from that. He's fine. I need help here, boys. <laughs> I jumped away by accident. this because the plants aren't coming back for a bit. Let's 
please no, we're only one one HP. I'd rather not to do the fire fight again, but I think we heard it in the face. But we might end up having to do it again. <laughs> yep, one more phase. Save me from the evil bat. You're dead and buried, darling. Okay, so we do it from second phase, good. Uh, <laughs> going again for the first phase. Save me from the evil bat. That's quite the annoying. Away. <laughs> I was waiting. Just stop doing that. But don't have like the fact that it's not. I'll shoot the light back. Oh my god, why? Oh, we're dead. You're nothing but food now, Batman. Okay, I don't like the plants. They don't Sorry, quite love. take. Your they don't. They are a little bit wider than what they look like. He's trying to hurt me. I will crush you like the insect. I forgot to take the guy who got dropped off ends up pushing me into the um vine. Or ivy. Vines, yeah. Ow. I 
I need help here, boys. You know what? I'm I'm sure they're fine. They need to fall off a cliff, which I don't know is how. Some parts of it go down a little faster. Oh, Save me from the evil bat. Yeah, I am avoiding using my upper moves because they take the two on. It's one of the things that I actually find quite annoying is the fact that the game is just up to you, but at times they are the two probably. Not always, just. I am stronger than you. I'm sure the, the guards are getting the whole thing. They're 100% fine, they're the whole thing. Alright, and it just does look like kind of like we're like towards the end. What I think I'm gonna wanna do is go around and collect up the Ritzel trophies. We might still have some time left, but I want to stop putting this up now. I don't know how long we have. If I don't pick them up, I'm gonna I don't know how this game handles. Uh, both games so I think after that section so
We have a map here, luckily, so that does help. The Gotham police dragged a new patient to the island. They said he was responsible for the disappearance of hundreds of the city's vagrants. As I looked at his disgusting body, all scales and teeth, my mind ran free, dreaming of delicious punishments to break this monster. Doctors gathered around, poking it, examining, but only I knew what would cure him, once and for all. Can we show all the guys to get the wolf teeth now? See over there. I like the last one. Oh, it's a Fiddler Trophy here. Got up here, and I guess it's a Fiddler Trophy. Find the map to the other area so I can find their stuff easier. I missed this on the way here before. There we go, that is all the Riddler challenges in the Island North have this stuff at the time. And... That opened up to escape for us. Interview tape. Someone who might like to hear my secrets. Really? 
Go on. Not here, my dear. Too many years and eyes. Come back tonight. I'll be ready for you. It's new heights. Fiddle diddle diddle, answer my riddle. He's crazy, you know. Who? Batman? No, Santa Claus. A cause, Batman! Always Batman! I've seen it in his eyes. Screaming mad stalkers. And dishonest! Hiding his face behind a fright mask. Well, no masks for me! I have nothing to hide! I laugh at the cruel absurdity of the world! But Batman, Batman, he's got them all fooled. He's made them think he can make a difference, that he can actually make things better. And the joke of it is, they all believe it! The police? The police, the media, the frickin' Junior Rangers! Every last sack of walking meat in this urban cesspool! Listen, sweets. Batman knows we're all on the same funhouse slide into madness. Why won't he admit it? He's up there in his belfry laughing at us. And the real gag is the miserable liar is allowed to run free while I'm in here. That's really incisive. Then you understand, don't you? You know why I do what I have to do. You know Gotham's only real savior is me. I'm into here. Ah. The beast was too strong. His animal savagery nearly cost me my life. I took my frustrations out on a lone patient. His case notes suggested he was a paranoid schizophrenic. His pleas as I beat him to death Suggested much more. His confessions were illuminating. My path was clear. Top end tail steering. Ah. And it's spirit of Arkham. Every day I found the patients more distracting. Their insane mutterings and constant twitching disgusted me. There was only one way to cure this evil. Only one way to purify the city and ensure its future. I needed to prepare myself. I needed to be ready. Patient lock, interview tape. I got what you wanted. You did? I mean, uh, good. How did you smuggle it in? Uh, actually, I don't want to know. So are you ready to stop that evil murdering bat once and for all? Of course I am. He needs to pay for what he's done to you. Give it here then, quickly. It was. That one was hidden so well it was almost invisible. Oh, wait. There's just a trophy here. Hey, let me open the vent. I tried to coax this up. What? You found that 
one too? Preposterous. In fact, that being one of the more simple ones to do. Is a trophy? Oh, for God's sake. I'm an idiot. I thought that I kept thinking there was a wall there for whatever reason. Here we are. Got a first try. There's not much going on, but I don't know. Interesting will be about knowing. Not like I do much. Part of why I started doing the stream was the fact I had like nothing to do at the time, so I'm not employed, unfortunately. Not that I'm sure. Not that I, not that I know that make too many people watch, but. Still. It'd be nice to be able to play some games with other people as well. Every day, but not quite. I do have some days off. I do this like every day for a while, so. I had a sudden pang of conscience. I sought counsel from my priest on the choices I had made. I asked him if it was a sin to kill in order to save a life. The holy man said all life was sacred. But a judgment would not be upon my soul if I acted to save another. I left the confessional with my soul uplifted, convinced more than ever I am doing a service not only to mankind, but to God as well. Oh, it's there. <laughs> I watched in silence as he brought in the woman. Her skin, now a venomous green. The wanton creature no longer looked like a human being, much less a woman. The Bible says, suffer not a witch to live. Yet he has once again delivered this female atrocity to our care. Once I have dealt with the monster, I think it will be time to see if green wood does, in fact, burn. He found it, I'm assuming. Trophy. We beat Ivy. Because otherwise we can't actually do all the visible challenges because I think the first time around or is it too busy with I 
Oh, yeah, this is one we couldn't get to yet. Patient interview nine. Dr. Crane continues to evade questions. I believe he is quite sane, just evil. He takes no interest in the people he has hurt. His research appears to be the only motivating factor in his life. What is it about fear that drives your obsession? Fear drives everything, Stephen. Everything. Your life is governed by fear. Every decision you make is a product of that fear. Don't be ridiculous. You married your wife. Margaret, isn't it? Because you were scared of dying alone. You have children because you're scared of leaving nothing behind that really matters. You go to the doctors because you're scared of dying. Do I need to go on? No. I think that will be all for today. Guards? What's in Yeah, I just got to take the time. Today I have time. interview with Crane. I cannot say I am looking forward to it. I have been feeling anxious. I don't like to admit it, but I think he's getting to me. How are you today? I keep telling you, this is my session. It was your session, Doctor. But not anymore. Are you okay, Doc? Uh, I think... Yes, I... Oh, he's fine. Just questioning his grip on reality. You should be doing the same any second. Mom? Is that you? Wait, what are you doing? Get off of me. Help! I need help here! I can't breathe! Like I said, you're all part of my experiment now. And then somehow managed to release Fetox uh, Fetoxin. That is not how you meant to do that, but... Down. Thank you. I forgot to walk all the way over here. Did I am Edward Nigma, the world's greatest detective. Notice the vent the first time. I see we had a time, so that's probably why I didn't notice it. There we go, that's all 20, finally. God damn. Which I'm annoyed about. There's more happening than you know, Warden. It's all connected. 
Oh, I am annoyed that I missed this. Ah, there. Before we go over there. Get up, don't jump out. <laughs> oh. Have I been? Yes, I have, of course, so I'm good. Sitting in the darkness outside of his cell. I watched the crazed twitching, listened to the disgusting words that came from his mouth. How can I let a dirty animal like this live? He is the cancer I have sworn to protect the city from. map yep I've been a fool Joker was behind it all he's Jack White he gave me the money pulled the strings to release Bane how could I not have seen it he's been blackmailing me he has a crazy plan to create an army of monsters I want out but Ah. In the ovens. Right up there. Sharp tells me you've been leaving threatening riddles 
scrawled on the asylum walls. Again. One would have to be severely paranoid to read threats into harmless riddles, Dr. Young. May I test you with one? Very well. What is it that walks on four legs, then two legs, and finally three legs? A human being. As a baby, it crawls on four legs. As an adult, it walks on two. And in later years, it uses a cane. <laughs> Good try. But the answer to all three is a baby. True, it crawls on all fours, but cut off its legs and it can only wiggle on two limbs. Give it a crutch, it can hobble around on three. You see? It's horrible. How can you even joke about that? Easily, Doctor. It's not my baby. Curse me for a fool. How could I not see it until now? The monster had a confederate. I hid in the darkness near his cell and saw with my own eyes one of the doctors whispering to him. She looked at him through the transparent barrier with tenderness, with, dare I say, desire. My skin crawled with revulsion as she kissed the glass. Fighting the urge to dash the woman's head through the glass, I let her continue. The damnable clown might have shared secrets with her that would be useful once the mad dog has been executed. I'm sure the woman will reveal what she knows to me. If not willingly, then certainly under electronic persuasion. After that, a lobotomy, I think. Unfortunate for one so young. But her lust has put the reputation of Arkham at stake. Yes, a lobotomy. The very thing. There is no other way to ensure her silence in this regrettable matter. What? Oh. You destroyed them all, but they... I That's missed one. I'm so annoying. That one. Yet again, I found myself watching him. No one can provide a cure. He laughs in the face of those who try. Amadeus would not have let him live, and neither should I. One last sip of cognac, and I was ready. Taped interview 39. Patient's name is Edward Nigma. At this point in time, I have yet to decide if Mr. Nigma is a suitable candidate for the Titan process. I'd like to talk about your childhood. Miserable. Next. By all accounts, that is where your fascination with riddles began. I believe discussing those years could explain your compulsive behavior. Very well. My father hated me. Always called me a moron. I see. I was determined to prove him wrong. So I entered a contest at school. A $20 prize to the kid who could figure out an almost impossible logic problem. I won, of course. And that pleased your father? Hardly. He was convinced I had cheated. He kept yelling, you must have cheated! Admit it, you moron! You cheated! I swore I didn't. And he hit me for lying. I'm sorry to hear that, Edward. Don't be. He was right. Patient interview 44. This is yet another interview with Edward Nigma. I have yet to make up my mind whether he's a genius or just deluded. Whichever one he is, just being in his company is both irritating and exhausting. Hello, Miss Young. You look tired. Anything you need my help with? No, thank you, Edward. I am here to help you. We all are. <laughs> Forgive my arrogance, Doctor, but if you think I need your help, well... You're in the right place. Let's look at it a different way. Throughout your career, you have spent...
specialized in bizarre traps and convoluted clues that more often than not result in the death of the unfortunate participants. And if the citizens of Gotham were smarter, my games would be merely an amusing diversion. Instead of death traps. You really should be thanking me. Weeding out the ignorant, the stupid, the useless. But don't worry. I'm sure you would survive. What a lovely photo on your desk, Doctor. Your family. Mother, perhaps. Put that down. Get out! Go on! Oh, fuck. He watched as I entered the cell. He smiled as I showed him the knife. I told him how I will use it. How I will cleanse this city. And then... Terror. I was paralyzed. I struggled. I screamed. But I was silent. The monster looked at me. Expressionless. He ran my blade slowly across my forehead. A smile cracked across his horrible porcelain face, and I heard the filth fall from his mouth. He laughed and called me that horrible name. I just was it shot up? That's I thought that made sense. Something about a surprise party for Batman. 